Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. It helps me out immensely. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Clara. Today we'll talk the top column, manual debug, quick split, and tool. Click manual debug, a box is prompt. The content shown here is decided what we set in machine configure tool, like the trucks quantity. Now there are two trucks shown here, which means we configured the two trucks in machine configure tool. The air pressure ratio shown here corresponds to what we set the air pressure auxiliary DA pores in machine configure tool. After configuration, we can adjust the air pressure here for clamped trucks. We can click clamp or release here to manually control the truck. After a specific time, the button will go to dark green, which means the current truck condition is in demo so the color cannot display. Please refer to the picture here. Debug holder here before we are capable to do some adjustments. We need to make sure the drop position of each holder has been set in machine configure tool. Only is the value of Y drop position is larger than the actual value of Y coordinate, the holder can be set as safe so that we can make up or down changes here. The bottom is for the single X debugging. The function can be used to measure the fallback distance of B1 and B2 trucks and check whether they are ensured to be synchronized. But normally it will be done in factory, so probably customers won't expect this function. We will talk it in detail someday in the future. Quick split support most common tubes and some special tubes, but is not available for the channel steel, angle steel, not closed section, or concurve section. The function is enabled to cut the tube from the current Y axis by clockwise or counterclockwise. If we take smart center searching, it will allow us to find center first and then cutting. Tool here, we can see there are a lot of functions. The first one is the height controller monitor. Due to its in demo, it can only get this box. So I will refer to the picture to introduce here. It divides into three parts. In monitor, we can see the capacitance charts. At calibration, we can make some adjustments and ignore the calibration alarms. Up and down buttons here will allow to jog at Z axis to check whether the moving direction of cutting head is correct. High speed and low speed is the setting for the jogging. Follow mode is on or off is to enable or disable the following function. A region is to make the Z axis to go a region. Stop is make the BC100 off working. The lightest meaning should be C represents BCS 100 capacitance value. H is the distance between the nozzle and the sheet metal. Z means Z axis coordinates. V is the Z axis moving speed. Parameter 
if we need to change some parameters, we have to click Unlock Parameter. After the change, we must click Write Parameters so that the revised parameters could be saved. We can see there are many parameters shown here. I will introduce the several of them. First, hit board alarm delay. The follower will lift it up automatically and output alarm signal if the duration of touching reach the value we set here when the system stops or in dry run process. If we set the value as zero, no touching alarm will be triggered. The second hit board alarm delay is in the cutting process, the same as above. Third hit board alarm delay is for peers process. Follow deviation alarm is the maximum following tolerance allowable to BCS 100. When the cutting head follows in place, if the deviation is larger than the value we set here, the controller will offer an alarm. Follow deviation delay is the future time we can set for the deviation alarm. The larger the value, the longer the duration of deviation alarms, and the stronger the ability to filter the disturbance. Capacitance decrease. If the capacitance is less than the value we set here, there will be no alarm. If larger, there is an alarm. Real-time calibration is on. The height controller will calibrate automatically after each processing, so that we can reduce the manual calibration times. But please make sure the docking point is at least 30 mm above the mental plate. Calibration range is the lifting distance of Z-axis when return origin. The default value is 25 mm. Maximum following head strongly suggest less than 8 mm, which will ensure the following precision. If we set a value here more than 8 mm, it will move 2 mm first and then to the target value. Vibration suppression. If we take the option, it can restrain the vibration caused by air current disturbing or slacks, so that to reduce the waves left on the cutting section. Suppression time, the larger the value here, the better performance in surprise the vibration, but it will cut down the response speed of height controller. The default value is 20 ms. Recommended range is 5 to 50 ms. Volume level is from 1 to 30. The default level is 17. The larger the level, the smaller the average following deviation, the faster the following speed, the stronger the climbing ability, but the stronger the self oscillation. This parameter can be obtained by automatic adjustment. Recite speed is the speed of follower to return origin. Docking origin is an option where we need to dock the coordinate after returning origin. Motion control monitor. In this page, we can check conditions of all axes. The enabled submotor alarms, limits, a region, etc. We can also send enable or disable sub-instructions, send pulses to test when the system is off working, clear coordinates and alarms, add status. We can check deeper information like mechanical coordinates, user coordinates, and G-code commanders. At main board monitor, we can switch on or off the ports, monitor input state, and operate simulation input test. We can adjust and test PWM and DA and monitor AD sampling results. The extend board monitor is similar to the main board monitor. We can check the status of each I.O. parse and choose whether we need enable the I.O. parse. 
Locate the tube front end enables to find the tube end automatically and ensure the cutting head will stop at the position we set. If we need apply this function, please notice the tube is under the cutting head when it's in middle position and set proper value of tube front margin. Let's input some values for the three, like 300, 20, and 3. I will make a simple motion of this function. First, we need to measure the distance between the middle chalk and cutting head. Then input the value here is 300 now. Click start. The chalk will move forward 300 mm. The value we set here and the cutting head starts following down. Then the chalk is going back until there is no mental tube under the cutting head. The head will go up. Then the chalk will move forward again, but it will stop at a position where the tube end will be 20 mm away from the cutting head. 20 mm is the value we set here. There the function is completed.